All right, I've got scissors and a pizza cutter because I didn't know where the craft knife was. Anyways, let's open the biggest model I have ever gotten by a long shot. This beauty is seven and a half kgs, which in uh, pounds or uh, whatever the other people measure in is a magic number that I don't understand. Point is, it's massive. I played Horizon Zero Dawn recently. It's a world where there's, you know, giant dinosaurs that are robots and bows and arrows and beautiful, stunning game. I loved it so much and I wanted to, you know, save up and get something really cool. Uh, something, you know, I haven't bought a model in ages and I, I wanted to get something to kind of show my love for the series in a weird way. I don't know, but this is the Tyrannosaurus Rex robot, basically, if you don't know the game. And <clears throat> let's open it up. I can just hear the earth choking on this plastic. I am so sorry. <laughs> it is now free of its cage. And, uh, it's called a Thunderjaw. Beautiful name. And seriously, if you haven't played the game and you have a PS4, though I think it's coming to PC soon, which is awesome. Get it? It's not only got a great story, it's got a great world, it's got a cool character. The rest of them aren't that interesting, but the main character's pretty cool. She's funny and she's, she's awesome. She's great. Love her. Um, also the combat is just brilliant. So many games are so focused on the ability to engage quickly and you know uh be really know the numbers behind the weapons and the armor and stuff that's not very accessible to people who aren't super into combat stuff so the game is largely you know designed around uh dodging setting traps and more defensive maneuvers which is a really different style of gameplay that really jived with me uh, I loved, you know, you set up a whole row of traps and then you lure enemies into it. That's a big part of my playstyle, and it was just, it was just great. And funnily enough, despite these guys being some of the biggest enemies that you fight, they're not actually the most powerful or dangerous because, you know, they're kind of big lumbering things. Anyways, let's get this box open. Dum 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 dum. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's just another another box. <laughs> oh. And <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, I don't. I like. I love the artwork here. Like, I might even just like take that and put that on my wall. That is beautiful. I hope I didn't damage it. This is what the Thunder Jaw looks like. Like just tilt it up a bit. Oh my gosh, we've got even like more art. So that's what it looks like even more. You can you can see. And that's Aloy down there. She's she's your main character. She's cool. Uses a bow. So that's bow driven combat, which is awesome. Oh, it's encased in polystyrene. Great.
What is this? Let's find out. I thought I was going to have to do some assembly, but clearly not. Oh, this is material of some kind in there. Oh! Oh, I forgot this completely! Ha ha ha! This is the map of the world that, you know, you, you are a part of. Looks like this. So this is the world you start at, you know, you, you start around here, and then you go out around here, go all the way up around here, these are kind of major plot points. And uh, it, you go on your, all your massive adventure. I completely forgot this was even part of the pack. That's awesome. I'm so happy with that. I'm gonna put that up on my wall, but I'll probably frame it. Then what's this other thing? Oh, these are just some nice bits of art. So this is concept art. Really nice pieces of card. Beautiful. So that's like a tall neck, which is basically one starred kind of like a giraffe and they store a huge amount of like data and information scanning the landscape. So, turns out that there are actually little extra bits that you're meant to attach, which is super cool. Because I was like, I don't know, it looks off for, for a thing, and I was, I, was, I was right. So this is the tail, which I'll put on. That's looking more like it. And this, this is an item from the story called a focus, and basically it's kind of like a communication device, an internet device that allows you to, ha to, to get access to kind of a technological network across the game. You put it, if I can sneak under here, like there, against, against your, uh, against your, your, your forehead, your temple? Yeah, your temple. So it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't go on here, but... There you go. This is the Thunderjaw. And if seeing this doesn't make you want to play the game, then I don't know what will. So, yeah. Anyways, cheers for unpacking this with me. This has been amazing. I love this thing so much. Uh, I'll have to find space to put it now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the future. And stay nerdy. Have a good one.